Hello everyone! If you are watching this video, I hope you are familiar with an amazing plugin for building online quizzes. Quizmaker plugin. This plugin also allows you to export and import questions. You don't need to use another plugin or add-on. You can use this feature in the pro version of the Quizmaker plugin. Three main reasons why you will definitely need this plugin. At first, you can have your backup questions list. You can export your questions and have them saved. For example, you can be calm if you have accidentally deleted them. Second one, you can use this feature to export questions from one website and import them into another. Export and import of the questions is a perfect feature if you want to create hundreds of similar questions much more quickly. You can download an example of any format fill in the boxes and import bulk questions. In the Quizmaker Questions tab, you can find three buttons. Example, Export and Import. Here are four file formats. Simple XLS6, CSV, XLS6 and JSON. If you want to find out their features, you should download them. First format is CSV. Click on it. Here you can see all the values. So, if you want to add new questions, at first, you need to set the category. Write down the question, set question hint and image if there are any. Set the question type. In the fields published, you need to write 1 if the question is published and 0 if the question is not published. Then it comes wrong and write answer texts and explanations. In the user explanation, you can enable or disable this function. The same with no influence to score option. Values of the weight field are required. Insert any point you want or just enter zero to give no weight to a question. Answers are inserted by a following principle. They should be separated by double semicolons. Options of a single answer should be separated by double columns. So write down the answer, then double columns, and 0 if the answer is wrong, and 1 if the answer is right. Then again double columns, and then give a weight to the answer. So the same for the image. The next field is options. It includes secondary options that may be missing. And the last field is the question title. Let's import these questions. Here they are. The next format is XLS6. All the fields of XLS6 correspond to the CSV file, except for the answer field. In the answers field of the XLS6 file, you need to put a curly brace, then a quotation mark. Write the word answer and close it with the quotation mark. Put a column, again open the quotation mark, write your answer and close the quotation mark. Then put comma and again in the same way write the information about this answer. Like is there an image or not, is it correct or not? And at the end, close the curly brace, put comma and go for the next answer. You can also copy this and make changes not to miss any of these values. Of course, after importing questions, you can make needed changes. The next format is JSON. It is highly dynamic format, especially for developers. When you download an example, you can, for example, open it with Visual Code Studio, press the right click and then format document to make it easy to read and work with. This is your question and below you can see the answers. Here are the same values like answer, image, ordering and so forth.
The last format is Simple XLSX, the easiest solution for exporting and importing questions. In order to export or import Simple XLSX file, your PHP version should be over 5.6. Unfortunately, XLSX file supports only radio type questions. Here are all the fields of Simple XLSX. When you are importing simple XLSX file, you need to tick this checkbox so that the system will import the questions properly. The second tab you will need is Export. In QuizMaker plugin, you have Export filters. You can set the offer of the questions that you want to export. Then you can set the category of the questions if you want to export specific ones. The last filter is the date of the questions. Afterwards, choose the format in which you want to export your questions. Sometimes you can have too many questions. In this case, you can have problems with importing them. Our plugin doesn't have a limitation, but the limitation could be provided by your server. If you're importing questions and you get the message like page is not responding, you need to raise max execution time, max input time, and max input bars. Default values of the max execution time and max input time is 30 seconds. For example, you can raise it up to 300 seconds. The default value of the max input bars is 1000. You can raise it up to 3000 variables. If the file you want to upload is more than the set limit, you need to raise the upload max file size and post max file size. When you cannot find the error line like this, you can install the Query Monitor. And if error message says that zip archive extension is missing in PHP, you can enable it by yourself via your cPanel or get in touch with your hosting provider and ask him to enable it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was useful. Please subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. And if there are any questions, leave a comment below.